Hi everyone, it's Kim. I just wanted to share with you the huge amount of soap that Holly sent me. It's awesome. I, I got a big old haul here and it's because um, we um, both have, well she sent me a lot extra, but she was going to share with me all the, the um, twilight scents that she did, that she um, had just made and I'm sure you've watched all the videos because she's real good about posting all of her videos and um, because she knows I love Twilight and everything and so she wanted me to see the soaps and stuff but then she sent me all these extra ones too they're awesome and I just want to say that Holly's super sweet and um, she makes some beautiful soap I can't wait to um, to dig in and start using it and so where do I begin okay so I'll start with these are the Twilight soaps right here of this area so and I've already opened them all up just so I could sniff them and everything but I just wanted to show you this one is called Forks and look at how cute her label is and how she puts all of her ingredients and everything on the back on the little card and she um, vacuum seals it all shrink wraps it but look at those beautiful swirls isn't that beautiful and what a smooth and of course she has glitter but what a smooth awesome recipe that is and it's an outdoor um, type of a scent, a woodsy kind of a smell. And one thing I will comment that me and um, Holly have both talked about already is that I feel that Forks, this is, these, these particular fragrances are from um, um, MMS or The Sage or Majestic Mountain out of Utah. And um, I noticed that Forks smells very much to me like the Jacob scent, which I mean, of course, obviously he's part of, you know, running around as a werewolf in the forest. So it makes sense for them to be similar. And I may as well just show you the Jacob. And so this is Jacob. It looks nice and earthy and woodsy. And like I said, to me, they smell a lot alike. So they must use some of the same notes to make both of the fragrance oils. And so that's Jacob. And then they have the meadow, which is, you know, like where they used to go and hang out, Bella and um, Edward. And it is a floral. It's real nice. It's a pretty, it's a real pretty kind of a floral. And the Volturi, I think, is like, she did a great job of showing what the Volturi soap should look like. And this scent, it's, it smells wicked. I don't know, there's something about it, I don't know, just because of the name, but it has that kind of a, it smells kind of creepy, wicked to me. Um, unusual, I don't know what the, the description is in, in their site, but it is, it has, a, it, it's perfect to me for a Volturi. It's sweet and it just smells evil. <laughs> and then um, this is Rosalie. And isn't this beautiful, this color? And I love the glitter on the top. And it, I don't know, it's hard to describe that one. It's a, to me, it's kind of a clean floral. And Esme is, I'd say there's some grapefruit in there. But isn't that a most pretty pink? I love that shade of pink. And then here is her Alice that she sent. And it's a sparkling type of a floral. It's clean smelling. I'm going to be using that word a lot, I think, today. And then here, of course, is Bella. And um, it's a freesia and lavender type of blend. Yep. It's pretty. I love that shade of purple. And then Edward has a sort of um, cologne scent to me. It smells like a clean type of cologne. And then, of course, I told you about um, Jas I mean, uh, Jacob already. And then here's Jasper. Jasper um, is a sort of melon, a, kind of a sparkling melon, I think. Melon. And then Carlisle, <laughs> he smells like laundry soap, or laundry so fabric softener. He's got a definite clean um, scent like, like fabric softener. And isn't that the most beautiful blue color? My sister almost, when we, I opened the box at work, my sister and I worked together, and she was like already ready to steal a few of these, but this was her favorite one. And then um, Amit. It is, it's like a, it's a, it's a very masculine scent. 
masculine and um, woodsy and colonish. I don't know if you can blend all that together, but it is. And then I'll just grab from back here. This one wasn't labeled, but she told me it's um, a raspberry, I think raspberry patchouli. Look at how nice that is. Look at the moisture. It looks like it's so moisturizing. And I love the color of that glitter that's on top. It's beautiful. And I love patchouli. And then this one she calls her sprinkles and twinkles. It's so cute. Look at that. Those are jojoba beads and glitter. And it's just a um, nice moisturizing unscented bar. And then this one, oh, I can't remember what she said it was. It's got the little bear in it. But it smells really good. It's sweet. It's like kind of fruity. I'm sorry, Holly. I forgot what you told me this one was. And then this one is an energy swirl is what she calls it. But look at how beautiful. I'm going to take it out of here. I guess I should have some scissors. Look at those colors. Isn't that gorgeous? I think it's gorgeous. And it's like, mmm, it's almost like tangerine or something. It smells delicious. And I love, love, love those colors. And this one is Be Delicious. And I'm assuming that that's the dupe um, name too. But look at those beautiful colors and the swirls and the sparkle on top. Mmm, very refreshing. And Happy Hollow. Look at that, how smooth that is. And the pretty top. I'm not sure what that scent is, but um, it's kind of maybe florally, fruity. This one I love. I love, love, love. This one she actually made with actual um, rum. And that's what she used for her part of her liquid is rum or all of her liquid. But it, look at how moisturizing it is and everything. And it's bay rum. I love um, bay rum. And then, oh, and I love this scent. It's called Cantaloupe and Lily. And it's like a, a light cantaloupe, cantaloupe color and a melon green color. Oh, it smells so good. And then here's Pepperwood that I um, had, she always says I gave her the name. But isn't that beautiful the way it looks? And it's... It's a very unusual smell. I, I can't really describe it. I don't, um, it's, I don't know. It's hard for me to tell. I mean, exactly, I forgot what was in it. But it's very unusual. It's very unique. But isn't that the most gorgeous bar? I love that. Love the color. And then Rain Blossom. It has definitely a floral rain type of scent but look at that isn't that pretty like confetti and then the top is so cute with the little chunks in the top and that little curl right there that's so cute and then this one is summer song and I forgot what she told me she used in it but isn't that beautiful the top it's, oh, it's like a green grass smell. I can smell it now. But it's, and this is like the perfect design for the scent. Because it really does smell like fresh cut grass. And then this one is um, Kiss of Sun. Mmm, it does. It smells like a sweet Kiss of Sun. Isn't that a beautiful color? But just look at how moisturizing and everything that is and how pretty the top looks. She did such a good job of wrapping everything up. So much work. And then this was a blend that she made, and it's called Belle Sorel. And isn't that pretty? I'm going to pick it out because I love pink and purple too. And it smells great. Look at that, how pretty that is. And then here is the, okay, I already told you about the cantaloupe and lily. So I just wanted to share with everybody my big haul that Holly sent me and how lucky I am to get to finally break into them and start using them. And I just wanted to tell you thank you, Holly, and I appreciate it a lot. Bye. You guys have a great week.